If you're an American tourist in Paris trying to decide if you've been embarrassing yourself or not, you almost certainly are. But hey, that's okay. We can totally help. Hello Internet, I'm Will Fulton and this is Thrillist Travel Guide. While traveling to a new country, it's certainly important to make sure that you are at least slightly aware of that country's traditions, customs, laws, and overall vibes. France in particular has something of a thorny reputation when it comes to tourism, especially American tourism. Do French people hate Americans? No. <laughs> But the deal here is fairly straightforward. If you act like an ignorant rube, they will call you out on it. That's just their way of life. Which is why learning some very basic French customs can help you save face and ultimately have a better trip. First up, you have to try, at least try, to speak a little French. Oui. Oui. So of course it might be a little intimidating to break out the handful of French phrases you googled on the plane ride into the Gaul and can't really pronounce correctly. What's the food? But at least give it the old college try before lapsing into English and miming your croissant order to people. In fact, it's considered very impolite not to say a formal hello in French when you enter a shop, restaurant, or hotel. Dude, come on, French it up. And yes, your greeting might expose you as a sad monolingual American, but even a little effort will truly go a long way. Most of the time, they'll quickly gather that you're a freaking amateur and switch to English anyway, but you gotta try here. Do you speak French? Let's learn a few French phrases, shall we? Thank you. Merci. Good evening. Bonsoir. Please. S'il vous plaît. I don't speak French. No parlez-vous français. That's an important one. And on that note, let's talk about, well, what French people like to talk about. In America, we pretty much fill our day with endless runs of small talk, you know, so that we never have to be alone with our thoughts. I talked about the weather with three people on my way into work today, and yes, we all agree that it is indeed cold out. This mindless chatter doesn't really fly in France. The French are generally more formal with people they don't know, and your idea of an uncomfortable silence might actually be a comfortable silence for them. They treat strangers formally, and for the most part, don't really enjoy personal questions from people they aren't familiar with. Imagine that, a world where you can just ignore people you don't know. Kind of sounds like a paradise. If you truly feel compelled to talk to someone, stay the hell away from politics, personal inquiries, and well, maybe just talk about football. And by football, we mean soccer. Or you can just relax and embrace the silence. Don't worry, you can talk about the weather with everyone in America when you get home. Is there someone else up there we could talk to? No, now go away or I shall taunt you a second time. Another big cultural difference most Americans will immediately notice, the French in general aren't really in a rush. Obviously in a big city like Paris, things will move quicker than they would in say Boise, Idaho, but in restaurants, cafes, and most stores, people just move slowly. Some might call this dragging their feet, others might contend they're simply savoring life. Either way, you will probably have to wait a little longer to get some service. But don't worry if service is slow, it's not you. Well, unless you spent the past 10 minutes asking your server some extremely personal questions about their home life and marital status in a loud American accent, then it probably is you. And speaking of restaurants, another thing that will certainly make you look like a dork is asking for a to-go box. They don't do that over there, so make sure you clean your plate of foie gras in one sitting. And again, you'll probably be sitting for a long time, so it shouldn't be a problem. Finally, we close with a very pointed tip. In France, you can, and in some cases should, still tip. As you probably know, a service charge is baked into most bills at restaurants in France, but definitely don't let that stop you from tossing a couple extra euro towards your server before you leave. It's not an unspoken requirement, like it is in the States, but it's definitely customary for good service and, as always, is greatly appreciated by your server. You should probably leave a little extra just in good faith to make up for your bad French and give a good name for us American tourists. As you probably know, we kinda need it. For more Daily Hit videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, duh. For even more tips on how to not be a dumb American overseas, check out the article in the description below. And if you want to find out about the best places to visit, direct your full attention to the video to my left.